Well, of course, we're still following this very much developing news surrounding the shooting that left one man dead, three police officers and a sheriff's deputy hurt this weekend. There are still many unanswered questions about the accused shooter in the attack. We have cell phone video recently released showing the suspect opening fire. Our News 13 Samantha McDonald is live in the Newsplex with details. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Elizabeth. Albuquerque police continue to investigate this major officer involved shooting over the weekend where they say three officers and one deputy were shot by a man police say had a tattoo reading cop killer. Now new cell phone video gives a look at the suspect in the middle of the shooting. He got AK man. You see that? APD says the man behind that police car was 35 year old Christopher Chase. Police say around 1130 Saturday, he told witnesses at Cesar Chavez and Broadway to call police and tell them he was waiting. Police say he was armed with an assault rifle, but won't say the exact type. Officers say Chase shot at the first officers that showed up on the scene, then stole a police car when officers took cover. He led them on a four mile chase, weaving through several streets and eventually crashing at a gas station on 4th and Montano. Police say that's where he died. This subject called and waited for police. Um, I call it a senseless act, a coward act. I'll tell you, we had some true heroes yesterday um, that probably prevented this tragedy to be, to be worse than it actually was yesterday. Police say they're still investigating the exact locations of where each officer and the deputy were shot in the long four mile chase. Elizabeth, back to you. The Bernalillo County Sheriff confirms that there was a deputy wounded, Robin Hopkins, a 15 year veteran. She has undergone two surgeries as a result of her injuries. She is expected to recover. Two of the three APD officers have been released from the hospital. Their names have not yet been released. We are learning more about the man police say was behind this violent day in Albuquerque. However, one of the biggest questions remains unanswered. What was the motive here? Yeah, one person we talk with says Christopher Chase was a good neighbor and even a good friend, and the guy is just shocked by what happened. However, police describe Chase a lot differently, and we do know he has been in trouble with the law in the past. Listen. He does have a criminal history, ranging from misdemeanor to felony charges. We found out those include parking tickets along with embezzlement and fraud charges where he got probation. But it's what Chase's roommate told us that seems extremely chilling. Off camera, this person called Chase a, quote, gun fanatic, saying Chase has always been a little crazy. Now, police are still waiting on autopsy results to determine if Chase killed himself or if police or sheriff's deputies ended up shooting and killing him. Well, hours after that shooting happened, APD's SWAT team was at Chase's home here on Walter Street Southeast. It's just blocks from where everything started. The SWAT team was called in to help with a search warrant after police say they discovered Chase had booby trapped the windows. Now, luckily, it turns out police say the booby traps were not real. However, police say it is quite disturbing when they found out how much work Chase put into all of that. They went to serve the search warrant on the residents and determined that it appeared to have been booby trapped at the windows. On Sunday, we got a much better look at this home. As you can see there, windows are busted out. They were boarded up. There was a car in the backyard. Now, police have not said if Chase actually owned the home. As you know, people all over the state are talking about this shooting spree and the chase involving Mr. Chase. This includes Governor Susana Martinez, who says, quote, I have offered any and all help they, being law enforcement, may need from state police, the Department of Public Safety, and the Department of Corrections. More details should surface in the coming days regarding this Albuquerque shooting spree as it continues to unfold. For the very latest information, stay with KRQE News 13, both on air and online at krqe.com. Search and rescue teams find the body of a missing hiker in the mountains in northern New Mexico. State police say the body of... Netta Labajardi was found Saturday, about two and a half miles from his car. He is believed to have died from exposure. He and his wife were hiking near Chama October 13th when they got separated after two days. A group of hunters found his wife dehydrated, but otherwise okay. That was about a week ago. Police are waiting for the results of the autopsy to determine the hiker's exact cause of death. The Navajo Nation wants to build three new casinos. It's pushing for a new gambling compact with the state. 
Navajo President Ben Shelley told members of the Legislative Finance Committee on Friday that revamping the existing compact would be a win-win for both his tribe and the state. Shelley said the tribe's gambling operation, which includes casinos in New Mexico and Arizona, employs about 950 people and could be a source of more jobs in the future. Well, good news here for folks without health insurance in New Mexico. More and more of them are signing up for Medicaid. In fact, at least 13,000 have since the beginning of the month. Governor Susana Martinez says it's a good start for a state with one of the highest uninsured rates in the whole country. About a quarter of the people here in New Mexico get health care through Medicaid. It's where the government goes ahead and picks up the tab.